you can count on. Well, we'll start out taking a look at Mount Shasta. That was earlier this afternoon. Looking pretty barren on the mountain. It has not really snowed this fall. Do want to mention there are seven active glaciers on the mountain. Most of those, the largest ones on the north facing slopes, what I just showed you with the southerly slopes. Now, speaking of snow and winter like weather, the northern plains are getting it. We're talking about the Dakotas, Minnesota, Mich Michigan, Wisconsin. Temperatures there in the teens and 20s with a little bit of light snow. Of course, that is a long way from California, where we are still in Northern California in the 80s at this time. 81 in Redding right now, 84 in Corning, 80 in Red Bluff, all the way up to 87 degrees in Redding and Red Bluff today. Chico, right now you're at 77. It's 70 in Chester, 70 in Mineral. The cool spot right now, Truckee, at 57 degrees. All right, we're going to cool off a little bit this week. Not a lot, a little bit. We'll be partly cloudy at times, and right now the forecast is dry. Yesterday we were looking at a chance of showers in our area, Thursday, Friday. Not so today. High pressure dominating our weather, just a few high clouds passing overhead here or there, but we want to look into the future and see what the week ahead looks like. So for now, we've got high pressure ahead, and that will remain in place through Tuesday. But farther out west, we've got a dip in the jet stream, and that's forecast to move toward our area come Thursday. As it does, it will trail a cold front our way, but look at that system. It's weak and falling apart. So right now, any rain from this system for California looks like around the northwest coast. We're talking about Eureka, Arcata, Crescent City, and maybe a few drops of rain around the Oregon border as far south as Mount Shasta. That's just about it. For the rest of us in northern California, come Thursday and Friday, we'll get some clouds, we'll get some cooler temperatures, but we are not forecast to get any rain. Once that weak cold front passes through, next weekend, yeah, high pressure builds in once again. Next weekend looks sunny, warm, and dry. Just doesn't want to end, even though we're heading into mid-November. So the weather forecast then is cool mornings. This is tomorrow morning and warm afternoons. And here is your Monday. And here's what that means for you folks in the western mountains. Sunny and warm tomorrow after a chilly morning. And your highs mostly in the 70s, upper 60s around Wairika and Crescent City. Eastern Mountains, sunny and warm for mid-November. We are just about mid-November. Mid-60s around Susanville and Alturas to near 70 in Shingletown. 66 tomorrow in Mineral. Foothills tomorrow, sunny and warm. Your highs in the mid to upper 70s. A little cooler up in Sterling City where you are higher up. Your high temperature for your Monday, 69 degrees. In the valley tonight, we'll get down to right around 50 degrees. You'll get into the 80s, I think, for one more day tomorrow. Not quite as warm as today, but still plenty warm for this time of year. Upper 70s to near 80 at the mid-valley tomorrow. Willows and Orland, you'll top out near 80 degrees. We may say goodbye to the 80s come around Tuesday. We'll stay cooler. Still going to be warm. And right now, the forecast for the week ahead does not have a drop of rain in it. You know, we got some computer models that'll take us about two weeks out. Wow. I hate to say it, no rain in the forecast beyond this week as well. Is that normal for this time no, of year? No, it's not. You know, normally Thanksgiving or uh, November, we start to get about two to three inches of rain here in Chico, higher around Redding. And right now, we're just bone dry. Wow. Well, thank you. We appreciate your updates. Okay. Up next, in 